I think it's great that Peter and Lois are getting away together. Yeah, I think Dad's actually kind of excited about it. Yes, very. He even bought some sort of language tapes, although I don't think he's using them properly. Where is the Eiffel Tower? Où est la Tour Eiffel? I would rather hear the specials. You gotta warn somebody before you hand them a square burger. Thanks again for watching the kids while we're gone, Daddy. I'm so glad the times are not changing. You a bitch and a hoe and a hoe and a bitch! My garden party has been ruined! Hey, Brian, check it out. Hotornot.com. Ten. One. Ten. One. Five. Five. Well, say, this is pretty neat. I brought you kids an old seed packet I found in my garage. I know what you got your fingers crossed for, and yes, they're persimmons. Coffee and old seed packets, and all any of you can do is stare at those Game Boy machines. I'm sick of it. In fact, for the rest of the week, no more screens. I'm locking those things up. But I can't live without my laptop. How else am I supposed to get my degree from the University of Phoenix? Hey there, buckaroos. Who's ready for some old-timey fun? I thought we could go down to the old swimming hole and swim in a hole. Ugh. That sounds lame. I want to play Call of Duty. Oh, I've got the original Call of Duty right here. It's called Jax. Got one. All right, fair enough. I just don't want you kids sitting around here glued to your screens. So let's get the blood pumping with my Jack LaLanne record. Bend to the right. Get the big spring. Stretch the big spring. Stop to smoke. Get a big towel. Put it behind your neck. Tuck it in your shirt. Okay, good workout. I gotta go call somebody and hang up. Look at those hairless shins. They're magnificent. Decades of black dress socks have rendered them smooth and mirror-like. Grandpa, what are we even doing out here? Looking for shapes in the cloud. Nothing better than knocking on doors and throwing paper bags full of flour at people. That's a thing? What, flower facing? It's the best thing. We used it to keep Italians from going to the polls. I gotta say, Carter, you've done a good job. We we've become slaves to our electronics. But you know what we're doing here? We're reclaiming our lives. Everyone, time to dress for dinner. Ooh, I want to light the candles, Pop Pop. Oh boy, I haven't had this much fun since I played with that buble wrap. What? Seriously, I drive older women nuts. I can make your mom and aunt kiss. This is a very skeevy packing product. Well, kids, it's Dingus Day. Here are your pussy willow branches. Find your sweetie and give her a tap. Hey, you little rats. All right, Lois, let's just leave our bags here and wonder where our clothes are for the next two days. How was your trip, Father? We've prepared a song for you. Nope. How pathetic. Yeah, you know where the most interesting stuff is, Dad? The human hat. <sighs> Nobody look at him and maybe he'll just leave. Good job, people. Go around the block again. She's still out front. We've gone around six times. Let's just talk to her. Yeah, you're right. Rip it off quick like a Band-Aid. Oh, I'm selling my old Beanie Babies to make money for the prom. That seems optimistic. But look, if you want to make real money, I could try to get you a job at the airport. They always need new TSA screeners. Okay, now see, she didn't say good morning to me. So I put an orange dot on her boarding pass, which means they're going to search her anus. Hmm, huh, I think I can handle that. I did not tell you to approach! Great job! The worst thing a passenger can do is approach your podium before you tell them to. Trust me, you have nothing to worry about. You're basically unfireable. What do you mean? Come on, Meg. Look around. You're the hottest person who works here. They're all told to wear a pair of their dad's pants. Oh, speaking of which, tomorrow, bring in a pair of your dad's pants. Wow, look at the new girl. She's so hot. Yeah, her breasts and her stomach are different parts of her body. Whoa, sorry, ma'am. We can't let you through security because you're the bomb. Scott, you're not supposed to make jokes like that. Well, I am carrying more than three ounces of liquid. Oh, that's so Muhammad Hatta. Hey, are you doing anything on Friday? No, I don't think so. Why? Well, I'm doing security at the roller rink if you want to come watch me. Sure. Great. I'll pick you up at 4.30. I thought we had plans on Friday. Marla, I think we should just be ugly friends.
What is that? There you are. Listen up, Meg. This TSA isn't sweaty enough for the two of us. I'm his girlfriend. You are? Oh, my God. I thought you were a boy. Oh, that's it. Ow! That hurt a little bit. This ain't over. Larry is mine. That was crazy. Larry, what are you doing here? I, I thought we were going to meet at the Toomey store and see who buys luggage at the airport. Meg, I've got some disturbing news. Some gray security tubs have gone missing, and I'm going to have to check your locker. I'm sorry, Meg. You're fired. I'm going to need your small, ridiculous tie. You're firing me? I have a duty to this country, and with people like you stealing tubs... Goodbye, Larry. Meg, I'll miss the way you reminded people about their belts. You promise you're not going to make fun of me? Of course, Meg. I care about my family. But I, I feel like you're drawing this out, so when you do make fun of me, it'll hurt more. What you did this week, it enhances my life to know how yours is going. Please, I'd like to hear. Oh, okay. Well, this is actually kind of funny. I joined the TSA. In the show, Banana and a Family Guy. Nana start the credits. Lots of little names. Nah, 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 gay. We now return to DJ Butcher. You mean like a slice of turkey? Or like a short section of one musical recording that's been digitally repurposed to be part of a new song? I don't know. I might quit this job. Let me see what else is on. In honor of Sammy, on the bus ride over here, we all sat in the back. <laughs> Whose wedding is this? It's hilarious. Peter, it's not a wedding. It's an infomercial for the Dean Martin celebrity roasts. Man, look at these people. They don't breathe. They just drink and smoke and laugh. I want to do that. What are you talking about? You want to have a roast? Yeah, look, he's the man of the hour. Everybody loves him. They got his picture in a circle. What are you talking about? I'm 6'2". Says so right here on my driver's license. Yeah, that, that doesn't count. Well, listen, I, I want you guys to roast me. What? You mean like they do on TV? That's right. I want to be the man of the hour. And I want all my pals to give me a good ribbon. Can we work blue like Marlon Johnson? All right, that could be fun. Great. And you fellas shouldn't pull any punches. Just let me have it. Nothing is off limits. Jeez, Peter, you're more excited than Adrian Peterson at an Arboretum. Ladies and gentlemen, and people who have wandered in from the Chinese wedding next door, welcome to the roast of Peter Griffin with your roast master, Glenn Quagmire. Thank you, thank you. Well, first off, Peter's always been special. In high school, he didn't play sports, but he did wear a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, that's kind of funny. Tough but fair. You know, Peter's challenging the stereotype of Irish guys being fat, drunk, and stupid by throwing a little gay in there, too. <laughs> oh, nice. Homophobia. But seriously, everyone, let's have a big round of applause for the real hero tonight, Peter's chair. <laughs> How you holding up, buddy? <laughs> Two chair jokes in the same monologue. Sloppy. This just in is what Peter had to say to his wife on their wedding night so she knew it was actually happening. Peter's so ugly, he couldn't get raped in our holding cell down at the station. Peter, you're loud, you can't hold down a job, and you got high blood pressure. You could be a black guy if your ding -ling wasn't so damn tiny. <laughs> How does everyone know? I asked Peter what he got on his SATs. He said mayonnaise. Peter's so fat and stupid, Lamar Odom tried to fuck him. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got something to say. Screw all you guys! I hope you all eat turds and die! None of you bastards are my friends no more! <laughs> Brian was the worst one. Family, I have an announcement to make. Peter, we're eating. Just tell us what color it was and be done with it. On account of my buddies all being nasty sons of bitches, I've decided I'm gonna find new friends. I'm sure it was all meant in good fun. Yeah, it was supposed to be fun, but it was humiliating. I felt like a premature volcano. I just think you're a really cool island, and I'd like to get to know- Oh, God! Oh, I'm so sorry. Because they're weird-looking themselves. Like those two bearded dwarves walking across the street there. Hey, will you bearded dwarves be friends with me? We, sir, are Italian children. Good day. Hey, it's cool you got the keys to the school, and we can hang out when no one else is here. 
What should we do? Oh, I got a few ideas. Wow, I've never drank so much milk in my life. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. Internet porn? Check. Tissues? Check. Lotion? Check. Okay. Let's go. Aw. <laughs> Should have taken the shot, fat ass. Hey guys, how you doing? Come on in. No, 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 Just go around it. He's not gonna hurt you. Just go around it. No, 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 what? Of course he was. No, he wasn't. You lose. Of course he was. He was the star. Nope, he... you're wrong. Look it up. I don't have to look it up. It's common knowledge. Nope. He was on the nope. cover of No nope. People magazine. Nope. When the movie nope. came... Everyone nope. knows Kevin nope. Bacon was a star nope. of Footloose. No, nope. it, it was nope. a huge movie. Nope. He was the nope. lead. No, 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 no. Hey, the sun's been up for an hour. Shouldn't we get riding? Uh, are they still sleeping? I don't know. I'll check. What? 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 Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Run! You want to get a book published, don't you? Well, yes. Well, if you want to be in black and white, black and white's got to be in you. Eh. Ah, ah, ah. Why did the sign say Northern Exit? It should have just said Gorilla Door. Yeah, look at that, Lois. That's why cats freak me out. He's doing that weird stretchy leg thing where they lick themselves. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Ew. 